Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with IRS. Welcome to my YouTube videos, the home of the five minute or less video. I don't need a fancy code. I don't need a nice background of books. I've been doing this for 50 years. You want what's in my head, not on what I wear is in the books behind me. That stuff in the books behind me is right in my head. So uh, I have worked about 10,000 cases. I'm a national expert in IRS resolution matters. I have a whole team of former IRS agents, uh, tax attorneys, CPAs on my website. I've been on the news many, many times. You can see my broadcast at 777irs.com. <coughs> Pardon me, got a little flu bug today. Anyway, uh, I do these videos for, for three reasons. A, so you don't get ripped off. I don't like, I hate for people to um, give their money to companies and they've had bad stories. There are about 90% of the people who do this on YouTube are horrible, horrible. Yeah, they, they actually should be turned in. About 10% of the people are really good. If anyone's telling you anything different than I am, they're full of crap. And you can tell them that I said so. Anyway, I want to talk to you about the trust fund penalty tax defense. As a former IRS agent, I set up trust fund penalties. How many have I set up? A lot. In the hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds of hundreds. Part of my job with the IRS was to go into companies. And if they didn't pay their back payroll taxes, that um, I could make a decision either to close the company up, lock the doors, and sell it. Or um, I would keep the business open via a payment agreement or a possible offer and compromise, but I'd set up the trust fund penalty against responsible people. Now, what you have to understand, some revenue officers do a really good job and other revenue officers do a real sloppy job. Some just cast the net on everybody and hold everyone responsible that ever breathed in that office and others do proper due diligence where they go ahead and say really who were the true owners who wrote the checks who was really in charge they're really trying to focus on really who was responsible um, so if you're calling me um, many times you could have well, by the way one of the things that IRS is big on that you have to know is that who controlled the money who wrote the checks those are the people as revenue officers you felt had something to do with the company because they're controlling the finances. But an RO is looking at how many checks this person signed, what was their title, were they a secretary, were they just a bookkeeper, were they an owner, how long has this delinquency been going on. You look at a number of things. If you want to find out what an IRS agent does and how they make their determination, you can pull up an IRS form 4180 and look on the second page on the bottom and there's a check mark of what who was responsible for doing what that's probably a good attest just to find out uh, who was really responsible so as a revenue officer I had a decision to make as to who I held responsible that doesn't mean I did a really good job on every case and you can have a good defense now let me tell you on cases you don't have a good defense if you're the owner and you signed all the checks you ain't gonna get off nothing you're, you're not gonna get off of nothing don't even bother to call me if you were somebody kinda ancillary around the outside of the business you may have written a few checks because the owner asked you and you really weren't making the decisions and you've got this penalty those are the cases we really need because those are the ones we will have good luck on. I don't want to waste my time and your money on a case that we cannot resolve. I'm going to be able to tell really with asking you five minute of questions whether I want to work your case or not. We don't take cases here just to take them. We want to make sure we can add value to you. So just remember, <coughs> pardon me, I got the flu. The IRS revenue officer is going to want a 4180 if you haven't filled one out. 
pull up the form, you'll see what questions that IRS is going to ask, and they'll make determinations. Actually, too, just a couple other things. IRS will pull up the bank signature cards, the corporate resolutions, and they'll look at loan documents from banks. So IRS really does all this. And by the way, when they do that, they have to present to the manager, and the manager fills out a form with the RO, a 4183 form, and they concur the penalty, pardon me, the sorry, um, they will concur that the penalty is a good penalty. That doesn't mean that you can't get that abated or do something about it. Anyway, if you want to contact me, you're welcome to. My information is below. I'd really appreciate a subscription. Uh, so let me tell you why subscriptions are big. For those of you still listening, uh, you, you, how YouTube runs is this. If you get a subscription, YouTube figures you have value. If you don't get a subscription, they think you're really not worth the crap. Well, I don't want to say not worth the crap. They want to make sure people are subscribing to your channels. So if you like me enough, if I gave you good information, you like my shirt or my hat or my stone behind me, I wish you would give me a subscription. I'd appreciate it. You're welcome to leave comments. Uh, anything you want, I try to answer as many questions as I can. Thank you for watching.